Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and in my hand I have a pretty cool Draper Expert Security 46mm heavy duty hardened steel uh, padlock with a uh, molybdenum shackle. Very cool little eBay bargain here. This is their model number 831146. Um, removable core, double ball bearing mechanism, very nice lock indeed. Um, very stiff, I don't think it's ever really been used. I've not opened it either. Um, and that bitting is very cool. Look at that with that extraordinarily high number two and the high number six at the end with the lows in the middle. I really like this lock. But when I got it, it reminded me extraordinarily strongly of another lock, this kryptonite. Now, I don't know if they are the same lock or not. It could just be a coincidence, but you've got to say, what a coincidence. Even the number's a bit familiar, isn't it? Eight three double one four six eight five double one three four. Hmm. And the keys are obviously different. Kryptonite have these awesome kind of like cut kryptonite keys. But the Draper key also fits in the kryptonite. And to make things even more interesting, have a look at this admittedly bigger Federal 730. Obviously it looks like a bigger version of the other two, but look at the key. This is the Draper key, this is the Federal key. I, I mean, come on, there's got to be a more than a passing resemblance there. So, I mean, I've seen locks by Stanley as well, which are very similar to the Draper and the Kryptonite. It makes me think that maybe Federal Lock are making all those locks. I don't know for sure, I'm just interested to know if you think they are the same lock or not. Um, yeah, kind of cool. Anyway. I'm going to throw some advice because um, I'm picking all night and my hands are tired and this is actually surprising, I know it's small, surprisingly heavy. So I'm going to give myself a treat, I'm going to put myself in a comfortable vice, which is something I don't normally do, but hey, let's just do it anyway. Okay, then hopefully we can pick it and cut it. Just going to use um, Peterson German 18,000s, uh, 1.2 mole pry bar, um, medium tension and uh, let's have a, a look inside. So six of binding. Set six, five, three, three, two now. Two w w clicks, but I wasn't happy with that at all. Let's go back to the back, six. Yep, yeah. five, four, three, That's two again. Go back to the back. Uh, six, five. Oh, nice click on five, four, three, two. Still not, um, one isn't binding yet, so I believe that um, we are still a wee bit away from that. Let's have a little run across pins, those other pins. Uh, one's binding now. Nice click on one. Six, five, four, three, two. I feel like one wants to bind and is setting, but it's not not quite right. Not yet. So six. Ah, it just tap six into a false set. Okay, now five. Just bouncing the tension on five. I think we've got it. Two. Four, three, one there, back to six, this is, um, the spools, if and there are some, are all sticking in this lock, which is a sign of a good lock actually, um, ah, and we just hit one and we're open. So yeah, that's, that's a really nice lock, whatever's working in there is working in harmony, so it's, um, I've got to um, actually undo the vise. 
and there you go, you can see the shackles just open. Yeah, um, so however this is inside this lock, I reckon it's well made. If I had to guess, one of the reasons why this is actually hard to pick is that you've got some lows in positions uh, three and four, but I think that they actually need to be picked, but not by very much. I think that they are extremely easy to overset. Anyway, uh, enough talking and more gutting. Okay, so um, looking at this, very typical of actually a federal locks. Um, even though it's the Draper, it has steel pins in position one for anti-drill protection, spools in every other position, with the, the only standard driver being this uh, steel driver in pin one. Uh, you do have serrated um, key pins and that really helps uh, make the lock harder to pick, especially when you're in a sort of an overset position. Now what I'm interested in is these long pins here in three and four. Let's just see whether I'm right. And yeah, they still need to be picked, but not by much. And definitely, definitely because of those serrations are extremely easy to overset. So. And that's partly why this lock is a tiny bit more challenging than um, similar locks can, can be. So you can see there, just with those pins, just just sat there. So it sort of act like um, standard pins, maybe. No, actually, they they just about rock as a as a, a bit of light spooling there. So yeah, pretty effective lock. Sometimes you just get locks like that, where through. Um, you know, just random chance, they, they are in a configuration which just makes them a little bit tougher than um, even another lock of the same. Anyway, I enjoyed um, opening that. I hope you enjoyed watching me pick it and seeing what's inside. Please do let me know in the comments if you know anything about the relationship between, um, you know, Draper, Kryptonite and, uh, and, and Federal. I'd be genuinely interested to know if you know any more than I do. Okay, and I'll see you all next time.